is inside the, the black hole. The black hole defies all the rules of space and time, and nobody knows what's in there. Nobody knew before we went in what would be inside a black hole. You know, the scientists have speculated that, you know, there's the intense gravitational pull and that if you went in, you would just be sucked in and all your molecules would be, you know, ripped apart. And so we did the calculations and we did the physics and uh, we we studied, you know, what would what might happen should we pass the event horizon on our way to the singularity, which is the center of the black hole. And after all the calculations, the diagrams we did, uh, we studied spaghettification theory, uh, what, what might happen to our balls, you know, to our nuts, you know, as they pass through the black hole, they would be ripped to shreds. But it turns out that's not what happens at all. No, that's the thing with science. Sometimes you, uh, the, what really happens is different from the theory. And what really happened was that there's video games inside. Yeah, video games. We will turn this spaceship around and we will go back home. If you don't want to give, I will turn this spaceship. We will go back. For our galaxy, for example, it's believed that the black hole uh, is there. And the scientists think that because, you know, they look into the sky with uh, various optics and uh, tools that can measure, you know, not only the visual light spectrum, but other spectrums as well, you know, like x-rays and stuff. And we see these really interesting uh, gravitational effects, which leads us to believe there's something in the middle that is bending light and bending the physics. So I'm going to show you a little bit about what's going to happen when we go into the black hole tonight. Hey, check it out. Vigilante just sent a $5 donation. Before, I'm, I'm not going to take, I'm taking you in deep. I'm taking you in deep. So uh, you're going to need it. So fill up your glass with your favorite beverage. I'm popping open some cold beverage right now, and I've got the big red cup. Oh, I'm going to pop open a second one. Let's get two of them in here. I'm going to make lots of... This is here is a diagram, a scientific diagram of me wearing a lab coat because this is science. And when you do science, you have to wear a lab coat if you didn't know. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in over here into my balls. All right. Now, if you don't want to zoom in, you don't want to see my balls, this might be a little bit too much content for you. Just relax. Take a deep breath. This is science. It's a biology. So just a little bit enlarged right here. Um... Actually, we don't have to zoom in to the balls. We actually have to zoom out because they're so big. You can see right here. They're actually really large. So we're going to come out with the camera a little bit just to see the uh, the whole thing. It's in a pretty uh, normal, like not too excited mode. It's You can see this the curve, based on the curvature and the angle here. But if we go and zoom in to uh, the nut sack. All right, these are the balls right here. I'm going to zoom in here into the molecules. All right, we actually have to, they're so big, you got to zoom out, you know, you can't even got to zoom out to see the molecules. Why would we be thinking about the molecules? Well, it's in physics, it's thought that as you approach the black hole, that the gravity gets so intense that the molecules that are closest to the event horizon uh, are going to be pulled in the greatest, they're going to have the greatest, uh, uh, there's going to be the greatest gravitational effect. So here's a, a little bit, maybe some of the molecules right here. We can even get into the individual atoms right here. Again, having to zoom out because those things are so huge. You can't zoom into that shit. They're huge. Kind of an example of your balls, your ball sack atoms, right? There's many of them in there. And we'll just pretend like here's four individual molecules right here. If we take a look at them, as these atoms get closer to the gravitational pull of the black hole, this one right here, which is closer, has a, a, a much more... Uh, gravity has a much more effect on this molecule. And so it just, just gets sucked right in. It just, the balls just go right in, right into the hole. You know, you can see that here by the graph. And this is known as the spaghettification effect. And here's the spaghetti monster right here, just so just so you understand what, what we're talking about here. This is the spaghetti monster as he is exploring the properties, the gravitational properties of the black hole. You know, you might think, well, why would you want to go inside then if you get your if your balls get sucked in like that? Well, it turns out that's not true. That's not what happens at all. Uh, my balls are fine. I look at them and play with them every day. And uh, we've been in the black hole probably uh, how many dozens of times. And uh, we're going to go inside and see what kind of what kind of uh, treats and prizes are in there. What do you guys think? Oh!